go this way. Huh? Is something... Tick-tock! Help! Help me! Someone's dying! Please, come here! Yes! Yes! Please help! Someone's life is in your hands! Wait! Can you... see me? Mm, is there a problem? Can you really see me? Tick-tock! Wonderful! This is awesome! There's still hope for Misha! Oops! Uh, I haven't introduced myself! My name is Clocky! I'm a famous celebrity in Pentacony. My friends and I keep the peace in this small town. They are Hanu, Mr. Soda, Origami Bird, Hamster Ball Knight, and Misha! Misha's in trouble! Tick tock! Help! Help! Uh, Clocky? T do you mean you saw a cartoon character that doesn't exist in real life? Tick-tock! I'm really here! As the humble face of Penacony, I never, ever brag! Um... Where is he? I, I can't see him. Tick-tock! I guess I'm only visible to those with the innocence, kindness, and honesty of a child. Like this kid here clad in gray! Um... <laughs> But I think you look older than me in terms of appearance. Tick-tock! Tick-tock! My great friend, since you can see me, then you must be able to help me! My friend Misha is in trouble! I'm begging you to help him before it's too late! Huh. Well, are you gonna help this, um... Clocky that only you can see? I don't think you're lying, as anything can happen in a dream. We can just head to the place I mentioned later. Tick-tock! Tick-tock! Hurry up and follow me, Grey Friend! Misha's in trouble! He's over there! Let me bring you to him! The name of Misha rings a bell to me. Uh, anyway, better check out what's going on. There's a crowd over there. Looks like something that- Everyone, please, calm down! Uh, everyone, please stay calm! You broke the rules, and now you're gonna have to pay the price. Punish him, boss. Punish him, boss. Punish him, boss. <sighs> How did it come to this? Clocky? Well, it does look like things are getting out of control. Tick tock! Tick tock! It's all Stone's fault that things have turned out this way! Of all the lowlifes in Dreamville, Stone's the worst! He's a greedy man who wants to drive everyone out of Dreamville so that he can have all the precious stones to himself! He instructed his underlings to wreak havoc in the dreamscape, taking away everyone's positive emotions. Since then, the town has been filled with anxiety and disputes. We're no longer a family. As the guardian of Dreamville, I can't just sit back and do nothing. By using the power of clockwork, I can direct the flow of positive emotions in the dreamscape back into people's hearts. That way, everyone can patch up their differences and get along again! My great friend, I require your assistance. I have a feeling you'll be able to master the power of clockwork. 
After all, you're the special one who can see me. Also, you're a new visitor to this world, which means we have the element of surprise. If you take action now, we can catch him off guard. Here, I'll show you. First, close your eyes. Tick tock. Now, our minds have merged into one. Can you feel an energy searching through your body? All we have to do is use clockwork on that cranky gangster boss and inject good emotions into him. Then we'll have won. Please bear in mind that you should never use clockwork with malicious intent. We're the guardians of Dreamville after all, tick tock. Mind your own business, lad. I have to let that lady there know she's messed with the wrong person. sudden. It's just that seeing that gleeful smile on his face, ugh, he's just as scary as he was before. Hello, everyone. Please allow me to welcome all of you to Penacone Land of the Dreams. Oh, come on now. Line up and give our honored guests a warm welcome. Uh, um, sure. sure. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Ready, go! Welcome, Welcome to Panacone, land of the dreams. dreams! You're right! We're a family to them! Uh -huh. We're, We're a, family. a family! Well, seems like you've established yourself as an important figure around here. In that case, can you ask them to leave now? Sure thing, eh? You're the boss. Hey, gang! Let's give our VIP some space, eh? <laughs> yes, yes, boss! boss. <sighs> we meet again. Are you the one who helped settle everything down here? Misha! Are you acquainted with this great friend of mine? He's an esteemed guest whom I've befriended recently. I told you about him before. Does it ring a bell? Oh, it's him! Anyway, thanks a lot. If you hadn't gotten here in time, whew, I would have been in a real mess. <sighs> Thank you. I'm surprised we get to see each other again so soon. About all the commotion just now, I heard a bunch of masked fools were causing a ruckus on the streets. I happened to be passing through, got stopped for questioning, and there were some... Misunderstandings along the way. Anyway, I owe you another one. Is this lady your friend too? <laughs> well, we've only met each other once before, but he is a kind soul for helping me at the hotel. It's my pleasure to meet you, beautiful lady. B beautiful lady? By the way, what did you do to that man earlier? It was like someone took him on an emotional roller coaster. I was wondering about that too. What happened back there exactly? That's right! It was me! Clucky! Of course, you played a big part too. Without you doing the clockwork, Dreamville would have been in some real trouble. Clocky? Yes, that cartoon character. I think he's shown up in reality, I mean, in the dreamscape. I don't really know how a cartoon character could show up around here, but according to our friend here, 
Only honest people with childlike innocence can see him. <sighs> it seems like I'm too old to qualify for that. If Clucky really exists, that can explain a lot of things. Huh. Can you see me too? I can feel the presence of something inexplicable next to you. But it's a shame that I can't communicate with him like you can. We can both perceive these extraordinary things in the dream, probably due to our ability to react to Memoria. But you're more attuned to it than I am. I thought your heightened perception was caused by something the elegant Memo Keeper might have left in your mind. Now it seems to me there are many more special beings like her in this dream. Shortly after we parted ways, I felt someone's spying eyes on me. I looked in the mirror and spotted a lady wearing a black veil. We had a deep conversation, but I won't bore you with the details. It's a shame that I forgot to ask her for her name. I only know that she's from the Garden of Recollection. Garden of Recollection? <gasps> Is that the group that serves the Eon of Remembrance? Exactly. They traverse freely between different worlds as mimetic entities, and are only visible to certain people. Doesn't she sound very much like that clocky you saw? After all, it is a grand event held by the family. The guest list could be a lot longer than we imagine. Once again, thank you for being kind to me. I wish you a great time in the dream, and I shall not interrupt your... date? No, we're not on a date. <laughs> She's gone. Well, shall we? I'll let you get back to your beeswax. Thanks, my great friend. I really appreciate your help. The Nameless are indeed a bunch of talented people. May our paths cross again. May our paths cross again. Tick tock. Please come with me. I hope that you won't be distracted by some invisible friend again. Sorry. I'm afraid we need to take the pinball machine to reach this place. Uh, you go first, and I'll be right behind you. Her secret stronghold is a... a cafe? Here. Here we are. This is the place. No, uh, it isn't. This is. Yes, it's right inside. Let me show you how to do it. It's going to be very dark at first, so you'll have to stay close to me. <sighs> hey, let me ask you something. Is following girls around like a lost puppy your way of getting their attention? You've been doing this for nearly half a system hour. To be more precise, it's been 45 minutes. Time sure flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? Ugh, spare me. Beautiful eyes, though. Are you from Sigonia? Need another hint? I'm an Avgen. My eyes might not be as pretty as yours, but there's no problem with my vision. You Sigonians are notorious throughout the entire universe. Liars, thieves, social manipulators, wolves in sheep's clothing. You're really living up to the reputation. I say you belong to the space under the manhole cover, not in a dream. There's one right over there. Off you go!
I'll pass. The gloomy shade of a place like that just wouldn't go with my vibe. Dreamville is frivolous, vain, and flashy, and that suits me just fine. Also, it never rains here. My outfit is too expensive to be exposed to the elements. Cut it out and go home, you slick talker. We are fools, but we aren't stupid. We aren't interested in playing the friend game with the lapdogs of the IPC. Really? You've never been friends with anyone from the IPC? Do you think I know nothing about the history of Panacone? Don't drag me into your banal office politics! Fool, you've been left with no choice since the moment you accepted the invitation to be here. You better pick a side while you have the chance. Or else you'll end up losing everything. You sound very sure of yourself. Looks like you've already convinced that chicken wing boy from the family. How did you do it, little peacock? Did you strip yourself naked, apologize to him on your knees, and promise that the IPC would never harm Panacone? Friends, oh please. You guys only treat others as your bargaining chips. Oh, what's wrong with chips? In any gamble, the only players that will never be on the losing side are the chips. My friends from the Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express are all smart enough to understand that. But the smarter ones wouldn't have joined the game in the first place. See? I'm smarter. Listen, little peacock. You've been invited by the tavern before, too. If you want the masked fools to get on board, you need to figure out what it is the laughter wants. Here's a hint for you. Since you can't convince anyone, why don't you find a rock to be friends with? At least a rock won't be able to refute your arguments. <laughs> so long! Thanks. I'll keep your advice in mind. Ugh. What a pain in the neck. I guess I'll have to meet with the family again. Here. We're almost there. This place is breathtaking, isn't it? Guests aren't allowed here, so we have to be careful not to get caught. Don't worry, this place isn't dangerous, just, um, think of this as the border of Golden Hour. The family is still building and remodeling the dreamscape beyond here. My secret stronghold is in this area. Let's sneak inside. Yes, our... <clears throat> Excuse me, there's a construction site ahead. Unauthorized personnel are not allowed in. Drat! We're caught right away. Could you... Uh, please make an exception? We're not gonna cause any trouble. Uh, not a chance. Our boss made it clear that only the Dreamers are allowed here. He won't budge. Get those out of my sight, and I'll pretend nothing happened. This time. Try pulling something like that again, and I'll report it to the Yoke family. None of your tricks are going to work. Please do yourself and me a favor and go home. <sighs> Seems like you won't give in. Um, let me think of another way. Perhaps Clocky's Clocky power trick can come in handy? Uh, this doesn't count as malicious intent, right?
None of your tricks are going to work. Please do yourself and me a favor and go home. Times do I have to repeat myself? Unauthorized personnel are not allowed at the construction site. Gah! Do you two really want to stay here and test my patience? You're gonna regret it. Ugh, you're asking for it. Oh, and I wouldn't be so cocky if I were you. I deal with punks like you all the time. You Fear for nothing just because you're young and energetic. You idle away your time every day, going around, stirring up trouble. You contribute nothing to society. Let me help you spoiled brats learn the hard way. Go, Sweet Dreams Troop! Teach them a lesson! Get them! <laughs> Uh, darn it! I can't believe I've lost! Uh, is this... Is this the power of youth? If I'd had that power back then, would we have ended up differently, Mia? Uh, 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 uh. Alright. Uh, you can go in. As the winner here, you deserve it. Seems like he's taking this winning and losing thing a little too seriously. <laughs> well, at least we finally get to go through. Never imagined that's how we'd end up getting past the guard. <laughs> that trick of Clocky's really is amazing. The path ends here. For the rest of the way, we need to borrow the Dreamer's tools. What happens next is going to blow your mind. Different points in space are linked together? Now we can go to the other side. This is how the Nightingale family repairs the dreamscape. Fascinating, isn't it? We can use the building materials that are floating around in the air. of the opposite building from here, but it requires a device. I remember it's hidden here.
Look, that's the Penacone Grand Theater over there. This one is a little bit complicated. Hmm. I have to put on my thinking cap. recruited many artists, architects, and scholars from across the universe to form the team of dreamers that built the dream of Penacone. These areas are not developed yet, so guests don't come here. It's not as lively as the town center here, but I relish the serene atmosphere. From that building, to this building, in the blink of an eye! <laughs> this would be impossible in reality! It's the same routine. You've mastered it, right? What exactly went wrong? Is it because I've gone for too long without drinking so glad? Or because I've been working overtime for two months? Why don't I have any inspiration today? Uh, who's there? Why are there guests here? Y you know what? I don't care how you stuck in. Just leave me alone. If you prevent me from finishing my work on time, I'm going to make you pay for it. Was the other puzzle piece taken away by it? Write it down on paper while it's fresh in my mind. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm sure I'll forget all the details when I wake up from sleep. Uh, there's no better time than now to put it to action. He wandered off, but he left behind the puzzle piece. Complicated. It gives me a headache every time I pass through. Not only do we have to activate the dream's eye, but we also have to close it a couple of times to get through.
be too many hindrances after this. Um, this area wasn't guarded the last time I was here. Uh, half my frequent comings and goings started drawing attention. I don't think we can get around them. Knocking them out is the only way to go. Let's get rid of them. <laughs> Lance! Forward! Here we are. This is the place. Someone's singing? Where is the sound coming from? Have you heard of this song? It's called, If I Can Stop One Heart From Breaking, by Robin. Her songs are played in the dreamland from time to time as the Charmony Festival is drawing close. This spot is the closest place to the sky in the dreamscape. It's far away from the hustle and bustle of the city and free from the bickering among the dreamers. You can feel the moment. The scenery, the people, and the dreams, without being disturbed by anyone. How beautiful. <laughs> Time is frozen at this golden hour. This golden dream shared by the fool from the tavern, and the memo keeper from the Garden of Recollection, the wandering ranger and the IPC ambassador, the Astral Express Nameless... A ...and me. Everyone falls asleep here equally. Regardless of our... ...different agendas. <sighs> I'm sorry. I really am a stowaway. I knew I couldn't hide it from you. My hometown was destroyed a long time ago. <laughs> it was probably the doing of the Legion or the Swarm, but... I I'm an interstellar refugee. Just like... many of the Penaconi locals. The Harmony accepts everyone, including wanderers from afar. The family takes them in, but they don't... They don't belong here. In this splendid metropolis, some have a dream called Penaconi, but... Some have dreams... That are no different from reality. Even though everyone who comes here harbors the same motive in the beginning. And it's likewise for me. I have a wish I want to achieve so badly in the real world. But I can't. So... I want to give it a shot here. Entropy Law Syndrome. Have you heard of this term? It's a strange condition. Those suffering from it will experience an irreversible chronic dissociation of their physical structure. This means they will slowly fade away, and the process is barely noticeable to others. You can still run, jump, and talk as usual. Everything seems normal. But then you'll start doing everything slightly slower. 
than others. And then, even slower than that. Until the lines between your body and the entire world become blurry. You won't be able to tell reality from dreams because they have all been shattered. So how could I possibly resist it? <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? I can actually free myself from this icy medical cabin in this dream. I can forget about all the doctor's advice. I can listen and see and touch and think and understand whatever I want with my body. So although this world isn't real, this experience is priceless. Just like this moment. I'm sorry. For certain reasons, there are things I can't reveal to you yet. But there are also things you should know. I am, in fact, after the Watchmaker's legacy. But that doesn't mean we have to go our separate ways and be enemies. But at least... I really hope things don't turn out that way. It's okay. Thanks. In my dream, I saw a scorched earth and a new sapling emerging from it. It bloomed against the morning sun and it whispered to me. I still remember the question on the invitation letter. Why does life slumber? You see, everything is possible in this land of dreams. The nightmarish past will disperse and fade away like bubbles in water, and the future that you don't want to face will never come. Why do people choose to sleep? I think... it's because they're afraid to wake up from the dream. I'm sorry. Things are getting all bleak and serious. Uh, let me see what I can do to lighten the mood. I mean, don't you have a lot of friends on the Astral Express? What would you guys do if something like this happened? Coffee? Well, we can't really make that here. Aren't there... Other crew members we can take inspiration from? Selfie. Selfie. Hmm. You're right. I mean, I've been here so many times, why didn't I think of taking a photo? I feel a little awkward taking it by myself. Would you like to join me? Let's commemorate this moment. I can be a little bit camera shy. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Here, you hold the camera. Wait, let me get ready. I'm good. Let's do this. One. Two. Say cheese!